What is the meaning of Pan de Muerto 2021? Hi everyone and welcome to the Cookie Couture where flavor and design collide. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about the story behind the Pan de Muerto or Day of the Dead Bread. But first, if you are new here in my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and push the notification button and let's get started! Let me tell you a little bit about the tradition of this delicious pan de muerto that it goes back to the era of the conquest. The Spanish people tried to reflect a practice that it was done by the native indigenous that it was not very well seen. So they sacrifice a damsel and they take out her heart and they put it in a huge pot of amaranth and then later on they will share this organ as an offering and they will invite other people to take a bite of her heart. So this was not a very nice practice so the Spanish people tried to find a practice that can substitute this ritual and they found the alternative to make a wheat flour bread in the shape of a heart and then they will cover it with red sandy sugar. And this will represent the heart of the damsel. Through the years the technique and the recipe of this bread has been transformed to what we now know as pan de muerto. Normally the bread is offered in the altar paired with a prayer so we can help the soul of the people that has passed away to go by from the purgatory to heaven. And this bread symbolizes fraternity and love to the people that has passed away. One that is more traditional is this one that is shaped as a bone and it is very similar to brioche. Then in the top it has little phalanges that represents the fingers of the dead. In some places you can find it covered with sesame seeds or you can find it also covered with sugar. This is a traditional piece of pan de muerto. It is a slightly sweet bread flavored with orange blossom flour and it is anise. a lot like a brioche. In Michoacán they don't call it pan de muerto, they call it animas or souls and normally they are shaped as little bodies or little muertitos. And this bread is made out of butter, yeast, flour, sugar, eggs, orange blossom flour and anise estrella. Here in my family we have the tradition that in the day of the dead we like to eat pan de muerto and we drink a delicious cup of hot Mexican chocolate. Okay, I hope that this little video gives you a little explanation of what is the tradition of pan de muerto. And don't believe when someone tells you that pan de muerto is made out of ashes of dead people, that is not true. Okay guys, this is it for today. Please don't forget to subscribe and see you until next time. Bye bye!